We've got a little treat for you today. We're going to share with you some of the creative secrets behind our social strategies. Strap yourselves in. This one's going to be very fun and really creative. Let's get into it. Right, Darren, here we are. We're both suited and booted. We Once are. again, we're, we're looking we're very lo smart. Aren't we just? Aren't we? It's a shame no one else is here I to, to benefit yeah. from we it. Can only Apart enjoy from you ourselves. lucky people. There you go. Uh, right, so today, really, the mic's over to you on this one wow. because I want to talk about creative because. One thing we've really, I've really come to, to sort of realize over mm. the last few months as we've done more and more paid social, as we've done more creative, yeah. is just how much more creative paid search, uh, paid social is yes. than paid search. Absolutely. We're doing, pound for pound, we're doing yeah. more video and all of the stuff you're doing for meta and for the paid social. Yeah. Than we, than we ever have done for Google. And we are doing some for Google oh, when it yeah. comes to Performance Max and mm -hmm. Demand Gen and stuff like that and Display Ads and all of that good stuff. But we're doing a lot more on Meta. Yeah. Well, it, it, we can say quite easily that every client that we have, yeah. I'm doing at least a little bit for Meta. Yes. Is that true? Yeah, I think so. I would actually argue probably more than a little bit. We're doing quite well, a lot. Yeah. We're doing quite a lot. But we're, I'm not necessarily doing no, everything you're not for absolutely, search. Yeah, yeah. There are some search campaigns that yes. we're running where, frankly, we don't really need the creative no. because it's mainly search that, and, just, and, and you know we're using yeah. the client's imagery or whatever. So, whereas for Meta, and it, frankly, it's one of the reasons why we, we introduced the creative service in the first place because yeah. we were doing more Meta because yeah, we, yeah. the whole retention piece and all of mm -hmm. that. But... We were, we were coming up with the roadblock of the clients going, I'd love to do more, you know, yeah. video and motion graphics and have yeah, more fun yeah, with our yeah. creative, but frankly, I don't have anyone to do it. And I went, <clears throat> let me bring in my man. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it, that, that's what we're doing. And I think what I wanted to do in this episode is just share with our lovely Tea Talk viewers and listeners yes. some of what you're doing sort mm. of behind the scenes, some of the creative secrets. So sort of kick us off and then we'll see where the conversation takes yes. us. Yes, I'm going to reveal all my secrets today. Oh, there you go. Uh, just the creative ones. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The others will go with me to my grave. <laughs> there but you go. Creatively, yes. there's lots you can do to create a winning, a winning formula. Mm. Nearly didn't get that out. A winning formula. And we, we do like the number three on this show. We do. We've talked yeah. about three things before. You we had have. your three S's on. There on we go. Previous episode. Go check it out. Yeah. Um, search, social, uh, search, oh, I forgot what it is. Search, now. social, and store. There we go. That's it. If I get me, put me teeth in back in there. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. But today we are continuing with the theme of threes. Ooh. And firstly, I just want to talk about types of content because I think the most obvious one that a lot of brands do is they will have images, graphics. Yeah. They'll have some, they'll take some nice photographs yeah, of their products yeah. and they might do an ad with a picture. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of text over the top. Yeah. But there are more. In fact, two more. <laughs> Yeah. Hence yeah. the three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and how do you come up well. with these ideas? <laughs> so the other one, which I think is is probably the second most obvious, is video. Okay. Which is almost yeah, the yeah. sort of the opposite of graphics. You, graphics, you've got still images, video, you've got moving images. And that might be just taking a bit of video but of your product, um, if we're talking about it more simply. But then the third one, which I think often gets overlooked, is motion graphics. Okay. And I think the reason for that is because it almost sits between the two worlds of graphics and video because you've essentially got your, the, your graphics. And it can be as simple as, as taking the actual graphic that you're using and then just adding a bit of motion to it. Yeah. And this one of the things that we do a lot with, with a lot of the ads that we're, we're working on is that we will make a graphic and it'll be very pretty. And then we will take that graphic, we'll take all the assets of it, all the text, all the little sort of lines that yeah, we're using yeah. on there, and then we'll animate them. Because essentially, make move. Yeah. we'll make yeah, them move. Yeah, yeah. Because you end up with something that is, in essence, the same, but in reality, very different. It's, just, it's more visually appealing, isn't it? It is. It's, and what I think is brilliant about, about the motion graphics is that how it takes the expertise to be able to do it, yeah. but what we've seen is 
early doors within client campaigns, mm -hmm. we're able to wow the client, yes. produce them because we can take their still imagery mm -hmm. and their, their their brand assets in terms yeah. of logo and text and brand and all of that, all their brand yeah. guidelines and their their, their 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 basic assets, and then actually putting a bit of movement in them, yeah. which just brings them to life. And suddenly you take what is just a static still image or a carousel yeah, of yeah, images yeah. and actually breathe so much new life Absolutely. into them. And you haven't actually created anything new in terms of you haven't no. had to go to the no. time and effort That's of getting the, the video. Yeah, because we, especially with video, which obviously I'm a huge fan of, you, a lot of the time, you have to go out and get it. Yeah, yeah. Same yeah. with graphics a lot yeah. of the time. With motion graphics, it is a lot easier to just be at your desk, maybe take what they've already got, yeah. and breathe new life into it. Yeah. So I think as much as I go on and on about how important video is and how important graphics is, motion graphics, in a lot of ways, is kind of that secret sauce yeah. to to bringing those two others into a nice level of three yeah. really diverse. And also, the other thing to add into this, again, I try and always think of how we tie this back to the things we're actively doing right now, yeah. is we're seeing that motion graphics is a good stepping stone that you can often be really quick out the traps yeah. to do. Because you can go, mm -hmm. well, you're only doing you're only doing still graphics right now or carousels. Yeah. Actually, we can take that. We mm -hmm. can put a bit of motion in just from what you've got while we're working on the video plan. Yes. The, the, we've got to take the time to get some setups or go and That's it. video, That's you know, take bit. go to your showrooms or your stores mm -hmm. or your and capture that footage as a as a you know, a stepping stone, let's move the imagery. And we've yeah. done that for several clients Absolutely. recently that we've won and got, yeah. let's just take it because as a Because if thing. we get into the more statistic side of things, videos will always perform best. But as you were just saying, with, with time being an issue and, and when you're starting with a new account. Yeah. And resource and, 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 and stuff resource, like that. Yeah. And, you, yeah. Yeah. and you will eventually get to that video stuff. Yeah. It can be, again, if you have the expertise, so easy to take that graphic yeah. and turn it into a motion graphic and again going back into statistics though video is the highest performing motion graphics will usually perform better than just normal yeah, graphics yeah, yeah. and in that sense it becomes a very quick win yeah particularly when you're starting on a new account with a new client to take what they already have yeah. and just statistically make it get better retention mm -hmm. have ultimately then bringing in more customers yeah because you can also with moving imagery you can it just means that with your creative you can get in more messages you can yeah. say well, more things thing. more messaging the thing. so, but the thing we that you that you do whenever we have a creative brief so whenever from the pay team it comes over mm -hmm. to your department and it's like right we've got this client new or existing yeah. here's what we need you what you are always doing which i think is really important point to make is you are always advocating the use of all three of those exactly so you're going you know whether the client is using video or not using motion graphics mm -hmm. or not or, or, or using still imagery and we see a mix of all of those yeah it's a case of going well we need to take what's the core marketing message what is the you know the, the time of the year the seasonality the promotion we're running or yeah. whatever it might be and then what types of offers and incentive and messaging and then from a creative standpoint we, what are we going to do when it comes to still imagery because i think yeah. that does have a yeah, role to play oh, absolutely does. what are we doing with motion graphics yeah. and then what are we doing with video mm -hmm. and they might be along the same theme or they might be different entirely yeah, yeah. but those three what would you call them formats yeah those three formats from ads really really important and i does. think a mix of those i don't think I can't think of an example where you've turned around to me and gone, we're only going to do this one. Well, that's the thing. Because if you've got the means, there's no reason not Why to Why wouldn't all you three. do all three? And with Meta, you know, it's, and with any kind of paid social, because it's that interruption marketing, play with it. You know, you yeah. explore and experiment yeah. with it. You know, feed three ads or four, mm -hmm. you know, multiple, or you could have th three formats and two versions of each yeah. with different messages. Well, and going back to what you were saying about having almost three of the same thing in different formats, yep. having that consistency across. And again, with that, the idea of meta being about interruption marketing, that just adds to that idea that, oh, you've seen this one. Yep. And then, oh, oh, this looks there familiar. I remember something yeah. like this. Yeah. And it just helps to increase that yeah. sort of interruption marketing. Exactly. So if we've got three formats then, yes. is that what you call them formats? Formats. formats. Yeah. yeah. So if we've got the three formats, there's also another three into this, yes. which is the three types of, I'm going to call it content. If we've talked three yes. formats, uh -huh. we've then got three types of content, which I see you doing all the time yes. in terms of three types of content that we're going to put into three formats yeah. for the purpose of your paid social mm -hmm. advertising. Let's start with the most obvious one. Yeah. The product. What are you selling? 
Let's show that to your audience. Yeah. Because yeah. so many times you get a lot of brands, they're, they're too close to it and they lose sight of what they're actually trying to do. Yeah. And a lot of the time I will see ads that, that brands have created themselves and I find myself asking the question, so what? Yeah. yeah. Ultimately, yeah. what are you trying to sell? What is it? Show me what you're trying to sell. Then I can consider if I want to buy it. Or not. Yeah. So yeah. the product is the first one, the most obvious one. Yeah. That actually, a lot of people forget. Yeah. Which again, the product will work in still image, will work in motion graphic, will. will work in video. It will. So it's three formats, but for that is just putting the product front yes. and center. Here's our lovely product or service, whatever it is. Second one, lifestyle, which, funnily enough, a lot of people fall into when they forget about the product. Okay. Because it's really that idea of what does this product or service kind of make you feel or, sure. or what, what does it sort of consist of or, or what does it, what are the connotations around this product? Yep. Um, so it might be, for example, if you, I mean, we've done ads for, for say like ride on mowers yeah. where the product is the ride on mower. The lifestyle is the ease, the joy of, yeah, of yeah, being yeah. able to mow your lawn without having to use this Break old <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah 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 so you've got that as well and it's equally as important as the product um and arguably you can't really have one without the other other yeah um but the third one yeah which i think is is probably the least done um because i think a lot of people see this a lot more in organic content rather than paid content but it is it's popping up a lot more is behind the scenes content. Okay. Yeah. And I think behind the scenes content, it, it goes into that idea of, of um, that sort of personal touch, yeah. that authenticity. Yeah. And it helps to um, push your brand more on a personal level. Right. Because ultimately, as we've said it time and time again, people like people. Yeah. And showing that behind the scenes content, it might be as simple as you make bespoke wooden furniture showcase how it gets made yeah yeah because people yeah. want to see that people love a story people yeah. love to see yeah. not just wow what a lovely table but how wow, is it made look yeah. at how this is yeah, made yeah, yeah. it's all yeah. made in the uk wow time lapse is a great way of doing that yeah. you can show a product being built mm -hmm. and stuff like that but yeah makes it makes a lot i'm sense. a fan of slow-mo oh so yeah, yeah yeah you have done some very cool stuff where <laughs> as you say most things if you slow it down yeah. look amazing it does. Right? <laughs> let's face yeah. it let's face it but i think no it's it's i think as you say that combination of thinking you know are we going to have some ads in those different formats but that focus on the product yeah are we going to have some that showcase off the lifestyle element mm -hmm. of that product, the yeah. use case of that yeah. product, that here's the scenario, here's it in setting, mm -hmm. here's it at work, whatever, that lifestyle piece, because people need to be able to see, oh, okay, this is, this. that could be me. Yes. I could be sitting on yeah. that mower going around the mm -hmm. guy. You know, that, I think they need to see that. I think that works. And then as you say, the behind the scenes is something, I mean, we do it at Evergreen, the whole we Uncut do. series. Yeah. You know, and I think that can be really work for obviously your ads, if it's, you know, uh, short and sharp and, and punchy, yeah. but also forms, forms into your content. And so much of what we're talking about is not just exclusively for ads, but it forms the basis and a bedrock for your wider marketing yeah. sort of approach and, and sort of whole kind of focus. Yeah, well, like. it, and in a way, talking about the uncuts there, I just popped into my head, we're kind of doing these three with our three main shows, because if you think about it, the podcast, <laughs> Grow With Evergreen, link in the description, <laughs> um, that's sort of the product, Yeah. because it's yeah. talking about the yeah. actual, the, the what we're doing. Yeah. Um, the tea talks right here, it's yeah. kind of the lifestyle, yeah, because we're talking yeah, about it on a slightly more casual level, yeah, we're, yeah. we're talking about maybe the, the sort of the pain points of things, about like that, and then then the behind the scenes, Evergreen Uncut. See, we're just, we're that good. We didn't even yeah. know we were doing it. There you go. It's, and literally the lifestyle, look, hey, we actually have, because yeah. this is the, the, the set for Tea Talks, very intentionally, it's very casual, yeah. we're very relaxed. It's, you know, very different to the pod, a mm. little bit more formal, yeah. we're in the boardroom, yeah. we're all yeah. mic'd up, you know, a little bit like that. Whereas the Uncut, you basically just come around it's, the corner yeah, with the camera in going. my face. Camera's on, <laughs> and it's yeah. just like, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. the camera's right there again. And, and I would say that just as, as a sort of proof of, of, of results and yeah yeah we've, we've seen from having those three diverse bits of content so many returns oh god yeah it's it's it's, it's honestly mad um but yeah no exactly that and i think it is so it just shows those three formats you know across as you say the the 
vi still imagery, motion, uh, moving imagery, yeah. and then the video. Yeah. Combination of those, trying all of those, yeah. hugely powerful. Mm -hmm. And then as you say, thinking about, okay, what are we gonna do with the product or the service? Yeah. What are we gonna do with the lifestyle? What are we gonna do with the behind the scenes? So that three and three, mm -hmm. very powerful. That coupled with the old triple S thing that we covered there a couple of go. episodes back. They say it's the magic this is, number. This is, well, they? three is the magic number, there isn't you it? Go. It's, uh, it's amazing. Well, there you go. Hopefully you found that one useful uh, and it may be giving you some food for thought when it comes to what you're creating and how you should be creating it. Let us know in the comments if you've enjoyed this one and we will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.